Understand, people of God, no tradition that you deal with is going to renew your mind. No amount of following a man-made doctrine is going to renew your mind. You must first seek the Lord in order to do this. In fact, Paul teaches us that many a times following so-called sacred traditions is the very thing that makes you conform to the world.
be praised. Say God is great and greatly to be praised. Lift your hand if you know he's great. Say lift your hand if you know he's great. Say open up your mouth if you believe that he is great. Open up your mouth if you believe that he is great. Wave your hand if you know that he is great. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. This is Bruce Dave, Senior Pastor of the City of Love, St. Bernard, here in the great city of Shelmet, Louisiana, 120 Solidale Street. Listen, I want to personally invite you to be my special guest every Sunday for 9.30 a.m. and every first Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. One hour of power. Trust me, it will be an experience that you will brag about. Listen, today I am preaching a very special message. I'm going to try to get you to think a little bit differently today, and I'll be preaching a message entitled I'm a misfit. Come on with me in the sanctuary and see what happens. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in the view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. But here it is in verse 2. He says, Do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. It's going to make sense in a minute. I need you to help me preach this. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm a misfit. <laughs> Father God, help me with this in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm a misfit. Um. I must admit to you all um, that the good Lord has put me in a strange but needed season right now. He has put me in a strange but needed season right now. Uh, making me understand day by day that uh, change in certain areas must take place. And all the, although things are okay right now, if I want to see significant change, the Lord told me, son, you're going to have to start thinking outside of the box. Until recently, I, under, I now understand in its full totality the meaning of outside of the box. Because like many of you here, we say statements just to get a small point across. But when God told me outside of the box, he was basically telling me, that what I have for you, a boxed mentality can't hold it. He says, I can't release it to you because your thinking has been confined. He says, I need you to think, Bruce, outside of the box. Because I want you to get to a place where you begin to think of the unthinkable. Because when you think of the unthinkable, watch this, there's going to be a shift that takes place in your life. And the Lord told me to tell someone in here today that when you begin to think about the unthinkable, he says, fret not, because he's going to shift you into some unfamiliar territory in this season. And he says, I got to send you into some unfamiliar territory in order for you to receive an unfamiliar blessing. Because if you keep thinking inside of the box, staying where you are in life, you're going to continue to reap the same type of blessings. And I don't know about you, but, but, but is there anybody in this place today? You're ready for something different to transpire in your life. Touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I need a shift. I need a shift. I'm looking for something fresh. I'm looking for something new. And maybe it's just for me, but I need a shift. I need something to change. Oh, can I preach this like I feel it this morning? I need my money to shift to a higher level. I need to shift to a bigger house in this next season. I need to shift to better relationships in my life. I need my mindset to shift. I need to shift my state of peace to another level. Lord, send me an unfamiliar blessing. Change, change, change. Hear me good, city of love, St. Bernard. You cannot expect change trying to blend in. 
Because change only happens when you change your thinking. And until you change your thinking, catch this, uh, you'll always be recycling your experiences. Uh, Steve Jobs said in our quote, the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels. He says the round peg in the square holes. He said the ones who see things differently. He said they're not fond of rules. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify them, vilify them. He said, but one thing you cannot do is ignore them. Because that, he said, because they change things. And while some of us see things as crazy ones, we see them as genius. Because one of the things... Uh, because one of the things uh, that crazy people do, they're crazy enough to think that they can change the world, and they are normally the ones that do. Uh, hear me and hear me good, city of love, St. Bernard. If you're going to be a game changer in any area of your life, uh, you're going to have to be a misfit. What is a misfit? What is a misfit? I'm glad you asked. A, a misfit is a person whose behavior or attitude sets them apart from another. Uh, so, so, so if you're not a misfit, it means you're average. And average people tend to be small people. And small average people tend to be petty people. And, and what I've come to find out about petty people uh, that they can't sit in big chairs. Uh, I'm not going to preach this, uh, but the reason why they can't sit, uh, I'm not going to preach it. I'm just going to touch it. Uh, but touch your name and tell them I'm a boss. Uh, I'm a boss. Uh, I'm trying to sit in big chairs. Uh, I'm trying to sit in big places. Uh, I'm trying to meet big people and I'm trying to do big things. Uh, touch your name and tell them I'm a boss. And the reason why I'm a boss, because I'm a misfit. I'm a misfit. So I don't fit in your clique. I don't need your crew. I don't need your crowd. I don't need your conversation. Why? Because I'm a misfit. The Bible says that we should think like Jesus. Act, walk like him because, because we are made in his image. And that our bodies are temples and that God lives within our temples. So if this is true, we have to be misfits. Let me teach a little bit. Um, look at what Paul is trying to tell us in Romans chapter 12. The Bible says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Understand, people of God, the key to this verse is actually the last part referenced above. Being transformed by the renewing of your mind. And, and how do we renew our minds? By prayer and reading and studying his word. Understand, people of God, no tradition that you deal with is going to renew your mind. No amount of following a man-made doctrine is going to renew your mind. You must first seek the Lord in order to do this. In fact, Paul teaches us that many a times following so-called sacred traditions is the very thing that makes you conform to the world. I'm going to preach it whether y'all want me to or not. So, uh, please understand that, that, the, that the world as used in this verse can mean not only in the secular world either. Uh, let me touch the church for a minute. But also the religious traditions that's been handed down and practiced by people for no other reason than the fact that it has always been done that way. How many times you heard people say, we can't do it like that because we, don't, we never did it like that. We've always done it like that. But when you practice so-called religious rituals, and remember we're talking about secular as well in this manner, and believe that these rituals can make you right with the Lord no matter what state of your heart is towards the Lord, watch this, they lose any spiritual nature that they may have had and because nothing, they become nothing more than a vain tradition that you do to just to be seen by other people. Matthew 15 and 9 says, but in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines, uh, doctrines, the commandments of men. If you don't catch anything, please catch this. 
Jesus came into this world and did not conform. See, I'll prove it to you. He upset religious authorities of the teachings of the day by going and doing teaching things that went against uh, all religious traditions. In other words, tell your neighbor he went against the norm. He went against the warm. Uh, let me finish breaking this down. He did things that went against their laws. Uh, he healed the sick. Uh, he healed He healed on the Sabbath. Uh, he touched people that were un considered unclean. Uh, he ate with those religious authorities that other folk hated. Uh, the sinners flocked to hear his message when the Pharisees didn't even like it at all. This is why the Bible says in Luke 1 and 2, 15, 1 and 2, then they drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners to hear him. Verse 2 says, and the Pharisees and the scribes murmur saying, this man received his sinners and ate with them. Some of y'all, we're not even going to talk about sitting at the same table eating with somebody. Our attitude has us so misconstrued, we won't even speak to folk these days. But if you're going to be anything like Jesus, uh, say, you know what? I'm going to speak to them whether they like it or not. Because in this season, baby, I'm a misfit. So what they expect me to do, don't think I'm going to do it. What they expect to see that's normal, I'm going to just consider me abnormal in this season. Slap your neighbor high five and tell him I'm a misfit. I'm a misfit. In other words, watch this. This man. Jesus was a misfit. It made him a misfit to the eyes of those that, that, that considered themselves religious authorities. It made him a misfit in the eyes of self-proclaimed holy men of the day. Why? Because he set himself apart from their teachings. We ain't going to be long. We about to get out of here. I don't know who I came to talk to this morning. But I came to tell somebody that this will be the season where you become a misfit. You're going to have to set yourself apart from normal people. You're going to have to set yourself apart from normal places. And you're definitely going to have to set yourself apart from normal things. You're about to become a misfit and step into some unfamiliar territory. Let me preach this like I feel it. No longer I will be scared to step out. No longer I will settle for the same old, same old Thing. Uh, no longer I will be trying to blend in uh, and I definitely no longer will be settling for less. Uh, why? Because I'm a misfit. Uh, touch your name and we might as well have a little church in this place right now. Is there anybody in this place today who says, you know what? I ain't doing the same old thing no more. Because if you ever expect change, you got to change the way you do things. So don't expect me to keep hanging in the same places. Uh, don't expect me to keep running behind the same old Folk, uh, don't expect me to take uh, is there anybody in this place today. You say, you know what? I'm a misfit. I'm a misfit. I don't line up with you. And uh, the fact that I don't line up with you means that I'm headed somewhere. Slap your neighbor high five and just tell him I'm a misfit. I'm a misfit. And I don't know who this is for, but they're going to be folk that's going to be mad at you. They're going to be folk that walk out on you. There's going to be folk that say you're acting funny. Just tell them, baby, we we ain't got the cuss, we ain't got the fuss, we ain't got the fight. Just give them the city of love, St. Bernard Way, and just tell them, baby, all we got to do is kiss and say goodbye. Slap your neighbor high five and just tell them I'm a misfit. I'm a misfit. I don't fit into your territory. I don't want to walk in the shoes that you walk in. Some of y'all, you better act like David and tell every soul in your life, I can't wear your armor. I got to wear my own coat because my coat is a special made tailor coat that's just for me. That's why I don't want to live in the house that you live in. I don't want to drive what you drive. I don't want to hang where you hang. I don't want to be with the people that you be with. Why? Because I'm a misfit. 
and God created me to be a misfit because he saw something special on me. Do me a favor, touch your neighbor high five and tell him there's something special about you. There's a special glow about you. There's something that God is getting ready to do with you. You stand amongst everybody else. There's something different about you. Why? Because you're a misfit. And if you believe that in this season, go ahead and give God glory. Open up your mouth and begin to give him praise. I dare you to declare it and put it in the atmosphere that this is the season that I will be in. I'm a misfit. I'm a misfit. I'm a misfit. Next year this time, baby, it's gonna be, you ain't even gonna be able to notice me. I'm gonna have a different type of body, a different type of swagger, different type of walk, different type of attitude, different type of mentality, different type of peace of mind, different type of folk I'm walking with, different type of church, a packed out church, a new building, because why? We going against all eyes in this season because we ain't doing what the rest of them do. We about to become misfits. Because if Jesus was a misfit, if he did things that other people wouldn't do, I don't know about you, but is there anybody in this place today want to be like Jesus, want to walk like Jesus, have the same mentality like Jesus? If you say if you want to be like him, go ahead and touch your name and tell him, I'm a misfit. I don't belong. I, I, excuse me, this is not my area. <laughs> don't, don't expect me to show up at your party. Don't expect me to hang out with you. Oh, I'm a misfit. I got things to do, people to meet, places to get to, and I got, things, I got to get to this next level. Touch your name and tell them, and I ain't gonna get it being normal. I've got to go against the grain. I am a misfit. One of my, 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 my idols now is Colin Kaepernick. Oh, no, no, this ain't about him being a nine. No, it's his mentality. I'm, talk, I'm being serious this morning. Colin Kaepernick is a misfit. Because on last year, when everybody was standing for the so-called United States of America flag, he decided to take a knee. He had a lot of backlash at first. At first, they was like, oh, he'll stand next week. And, and they blew him off. Uh, but when he continued to stand his ground, uh, one by one, uh, people say there's something different about him. Uh, and uh, uh, one day you see, you see him kneeling down. Then, then you saw Eric Reed kneeling. But then it trickled down. Well, I hope you get it. Not only uh, from, from his teammates, but it trickled all the way down to other teams. <laughs> Boy, I'm trying to tell you that you being different is going to make a difference. And um, 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 it started trickling down. And we begin to say that, 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 that the other background didn't understand what we were going through. Um, but, but, but then I, 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 see, I see the Los Angeles Rams and I see, I see Chris Long. His daddy, his daddy is Howie Long, and the uh, white guy, and, and he takes a knee. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. See, when you're a misfit, uh, and you stand for something different, uh, and you start doing different things, uh, you're going to see different types of people come out. Oh, I can't get any help in this place. Uh, 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 uh. But, but, but what happens is now, now, a small, innocent protest that they thought nothing about a misfit made it a national situation. He went from 
the football field to the White House. Uh, 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 see, sometimes your different stuff, your different mentality going to take you to high places. Uh, and everybody in high places is not going to respect you, but they got to hear you out. Uh, uh, I feel like preaching just a little bit more. Um, 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 and, and what Colin did, he took a knee because he stood for what he felt was right. Let me bring this in. Um, um, there's going to be a season in your life uh, where all this normal stuff that you normally deal with, uh, where all these normal folk that you deal with, uh, where all these normal places that you go to, uh, where all these things that you've been dealing with, uh, there's going to be a season in your life uh, where you're going to have to look that stuff in the face and just go ahead and take a knee at it uh, and say, you know what? I'm not going to stand for this anymore. I'm not going to deal with that anymore. I don't need you in my life anymore. I'm going to go ahead and take a knee here. And those who with me, with me, and those who's not, not. But it is what it is. Why? Because in this season, I'm a misfit. I'm going against all eyes. And those who don't like it, it is what it is. God says, I am who I am, and it is who I am. Uh, slap your neighbor high five and just tell him, I'm a misfit. Lift those hands all over this building. I'm done. This will be the season for misfits. No longer we dealing with normal stuff. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. What an awesome time we had here at the City of Love, St. Bernard. Listen, I preached a message entitled, I'm a Misfit. If you ever want something to change, you're going to have to learn how to think outside of the box. It is the ones who think outside of the box who goes against the grain that always reach new levels. Listen, I'll just, again, I want to personally invite you to come out and share with us every Sunday for 9.30 a.m. and every first Wednesday, 6.30 p.m., one hour of power. Trust me, it will be an experience that you will brag about. Come see us, 120 Solidell Street. I promise you won't be disappointed. Also, if you're interested in any of our shirts, our paraphernalia, hats, anything that we may have, any type of product, be sure to visit our website at www.thecityoflovesaintbernard.com. Listen, once again, I'm looking forward to seeing you. This is our prayer.